Hey, it's Matthew back with the Huddle Haas, and today I'm going to have a little bit different content. I'm going to show you kind of garden stuff. I'm going to show you the garden, what we have planted, which is not much right now. But I'm going to work it up again, and we're going to get our onions, our lettuce, our kale, um, cabbage, and potatoes. We're going to plant those this evening. So I'm just going to go around and show you what, what we have and what we're going to be working with. It's pretty bright out here. So this is our garden. It's not very big. It's uh, 50 feet long and 40 feet wide. I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, but um, with the baby coming this summer, um, it's just going to be a lot. So yeah, so not huge, but you would be surprised out of a 40 by 50 how much stuff you can get off of it, especially with this good soil. So in the front here, this is where the original garden was. And right back there where this fire pit is, there was a fence when we first moved in. There was a fence right behind that. So we've expanded this garden. We um, uh, had the fence, the pasture fence moved back. And so we have all this room now. Um, so this was the original size of the garden, which is not very big. Um, but so you, that's why it's kind of like just a little jet out here and then we expand it um, in 2020 uh, we made it bigger because we moved here in 2019 anyway so here first what we have is this is just a bed of well there's some tulips but this is a bed of strawberries and these are Cavendish and this is will be the first year that we've let them um, bloom you can see they're just now starting to bloom so this will be the first year for this. And I have another bed of strawberries over here. I apologize for the um, the weeds, but and then I have another bed here. We had a small chicken house here when the fence, like I said, the fence was real close. It was right there. And I had a little small chicken uh, run here. It wasn't very big, but then I planted strawberries and this. And so this variety is called Jewel. And this is one of my favorite varieties. I've grown these before and you can see they're just now starting to, if I can find it, starting to bloom as well. So I think this was about 25 plants. And again, the first year strawberries, you don't really do anything to them. You can see here where the chickens really got into them. It scratched around. So we're hoping to get some strawberries. So what I'm going to do now is, um, uh, so yeah, we have our strawberries here. And then I went to Aldi and they had dahlia roots, dahlia bulbs for 59 cents a piece. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see where those, I have sticks down there. You can see that's where me and the boys planted them the other day. This is a little bit of a little patch of apple mint. And this was just one plant and this will eventually take over, which we love to have mint uh, to um, eat. And then last year I had calendula right here. And you can see where it has started to reseed itself. Sorry about the sun. And then nothing else in here. So what I'm going to do real quick now is I'm going to just till this up again. I've tilled this twice already. Then it came like a week of rain. Um, so I'm going to till this up again before we start planting. Okay, and here we go. This is after going over it twice. The boys back there have really helped me picking up rocks. Landon said every time he thinks he picks up a rock, he thinks somebody goes behind him and puts another one down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to prepare our potatoes to plant. Now, a lot of people, and you'll see a lot of people say that you have to do this. I never have and my potatoes uh, grow fine. Um, but some people say that you have to cut your potatoes and let them kind of <clears throat> scab over or um, dry a little bit. I've always done them and see Carter in the background, but I've always uh, cut them and put them in. So we're going to do three different kinds of potatoes this year. Um, we're going to do uh, the original uh, Kennebec that we've always done. But this year I found something 
different. And I've been watching this, this YouTuber family called the Veggie Boys. You really should look them up if you don't know them. Uh, they have a, they have a farm market and they have a bunch of produce, but they grow Ava and they say they're kind of like a Quebec, but they remain round. So to prepare these for planting, you can see these are starting to sprout a little bit and those are where the eyes are. And so to have, I think, successful um, potatoes, you want to have at least three eyes. So with this one, I could probably cut this, uh, I'm gonna cut it twice. So I want at least three eyes. And then I'm just going to put them in the bucket and um, we'll plant them here in a few minutes. Now, I want to show you uh, the next one, which these are the Kittebec, and then, uh, that tomato. That and then, a tomato. yeah, and then we're going to do Yukon Gold. So that's what we have here. I'm going to try to keep them, I'll plant them in a line all the same together. Uh, so we don't get them mixed up. So I'm going to cut these and the next time you'll see us is when we're in the garden. Okay, so I've made my rows. Here I've made for the onions and lettuce, uh, for the cabbage and kale, and then two for potatoes. And there's many, many different ways to grow a garden. You know, there's the no-till method, the back-to-Eden method. There's alt cottage gardens, uh, square foot gardens. This is how I've always done it. And so this is what works best for me. And I learned from my grandma and my papa, and this is how they've done it, and this is what works for me. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is, and my rows may not be perfect, but you know what, have you ever seen things in nature grow in straight lines? They're typically grouped together, so they won't care if I'm going uphill or downhill, but uh, I don't think it's too bad. Anyway, so I'm gonna start here with some lettuce. And I'm gonna start with some butter crunch. And so right here, I'm gonna leave a space because we're gonna plant some uh, uh, petunias right here. On the end of every row, we're going to plant some petunias, but I'm going to leave a marker here so I know where we started. So the first lettuce that I'm going to use is the Butter Crunch. This is a 56-day bib type. Thick, juicy, and crisp leaves, it says. Mommy. And so with lettuce, um, a lot of different people will grow it different ways. You'll see people, you know, start it in trays and really all I'm going to do is I'm just going to sow it and pray the wind doesn't take too much of it and we're just going to pick this um, like cutting lettuce not like heads okay and then I'm just going to cover it very very lightly and again this isn't a huge amount here but it's going to give us all that we need. The next that I'm going to grow is the Black Seeded Simpson. And this is a 65-day uh, leaf sleeve, light green, uh, brittle, crisp texture. This is what uh, I always grew up eating. And the same thing I'm going to do here. I'm just going to kind of pack in my row, get some rocks out of the way, try to find a stick to to mark it and then we are just going to see the boys helping future farmers and again if it's too thick we can come in and and thin it out and just going to go lightly cover it again and that is it okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to plant onions. And so we're going to be starting with the sets. We're going to be doing uh, red wing and we're going to be doing candy. We actually used our very last onion uh, yesterday. You probably can't see because of the sun. Used the last onion from our store, winter storage last year. Uh, candy don't store that well, but um, we're going to go ahead and put these. And uh, the thing with this is 
we're going to plant them kind of uh, close together, but we'll pull them and thin them out as they get um, growing and use them for spring um, onions, like for salads and things. So let's start with the candy. And boys, you can't see us be that slayer. I know. So buy it. Okay. Dad, so, you can buy it. I'll space them. Yeah, I'll put the top. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Sis, hey, Carter, sis lettuce, sis a lot dough. So do not do laffa. And do see meant to root snona. So I'm telling them to put them about so far with the roots down. If you ever read the Chronicles of Narnia, this is what this reminds me of. Um, what was it when, was it the uncle went to Narnia? Oh, yeah, and Andrew. Uncle Andrew went to Narnia and the, uh, the animals didn't know if he was an animal or a plant. And then he had such bushy hairs, they didn't know whether to plant him this way or this way. That's what that reminds me of. Okay. So we're going to go through and do this and I'm just going to come behind and I'm just going to cover them until just a little bit of that green is sticking out. Okay. And we'll show you when we're done with this. Okay. We got that row all done. Now we're going to start in with the next row. We're going to do our kale and our cabbage. We have a country to sell Gria. So they're going to get it. And this is, yeah, just do country on self, huh? Let's me this. Okay. Now this is the kale that we're going to be growing. My brother-in-law, Eddie, uh, started this and so we're gonna do probably uh, a few of those and then this is the cabbage that we are starting I got this from the greenhouse and this is golden acre so we're going to be planting that here and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use for that for the kale Landon do kind of sell blanca okay do do put it right there do scrap up yep and then some other one. So they. What can I do? Okay. Eat, eat. Bissel Vida. Dad. Yeah. Dad. Carter gave to Anna's side. Gave to Anna's side. My hand up. Nay, 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 nay. This side. Huh? How many inches apart? We sell. What should we sell? Carter, so we're planting these about six to eight inches. Yeah. Mit the landing. Okay, Miss Elvida. Oh, this is for you. I like this. Okay. Okay, so it's going to sell. Okay, so with this. And we're going to do the same thing with the cabbage, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a little bit of, this is just Equate Epsom salt, so it's magnesium. And my understanding is the magnesium helps the plant better. My understanding is the magnesium helps the plant better absorb nutrients. So we're just going to sprinkle some of that around it. And then I'm going to take Kanchida Hasa Meshkria. And then I'm going to take a little bit of rabbit droppings. And the rabbit droppings are a cold manure, so it could, um, it will not burn plants like chicken manure will. And so we're going to do that with each one. I'm going to set this up, this kale plant, like this. And then the la very last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some triple 10 uh, fertilizer. And so this has too much water. So this has um, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash. This is just a, um, you shouldn't use your hands for this, but I'm going to um, because it can uh, irritate your hands. And I'm just going to sprinkle some around it. 
Now this is not organic gardening. And you can see I didn't put a ton and I don't want it to touch the leaves because it will burn. And so for the kale and for the cabbage, we're going to do the exact same thing. Except we're gonna space the cabbage out further. Okay, okay here's some stuff. Okay, now we're gonna plant our potatoes. And what we're gonna do is you can see this one here, I didn't cut it all because it didn't, it has doesn't have many eyes. And this one I did cut. So when I do plant these, I'm gonna put these dirt side down. So like this. And then I'm gonna plant these like every, I don't know, uh, eight to 10 inches. And so this is the Kennebec. So we're gonna do um, this whole row in Kennebec. So boys, go ahead and take some and put them in. Used to planting potatoes. Mm -hmm. Well, imagine this workforce in 10 years. I have to grow up six rows of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Feed them. I wear them. So, this is something that I don't do well. I try to have patience with the boys, like in the garden, um, and it's something that I'm working on. Jace, do not. Jace, knock net. Daddy tells I'll do. Um, so, the thing is uh, just kind of know that um, they're learning and children learn by playing and if we can make this fun for them maybe they'll enjoy it later and um, they can be a big help you can see how much of a help they are now Dad, what happens to the one with no cut side what should you see in the grunt okay Ready, boys, first? No. Okay. I always do it the veggie boys first. I keep on grabbing. Sounds okay. And then crunchy and helpful. Yeah. Harder. We, this is the hardest ground we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down through here. <laughs> And I'm gonna bury these. Do much water. I'm gonna bury these as kind of deep as I can. And I'm just gonna show you here. And then I'm gonna go on this side and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm really gonna hill them up. This piece of grass. I'm really gonna hill them up. And then every so often as they grow, I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna keep hilling them up. Then for these, I'm going to take that same fertilizer and Too much water, James. I'm just going to spread it on top. Now potatoes, I think, in my experience, in my experience, pot potatoes like, like fertilizer. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this for the next two rows. You can see this is where we ended with the cabbage and we just filled in. So we're going to finish up these rows. Go quarter of the garden planted for the year. A different type of video for this channel, but I hope you enjoy the gardening. You might get a couple gardening videos uh, a month. Thanks for watching, and as always, God bless.